Welcome to my playoffs battle of the third season in the BHDL Pokemon Draft League. My name is Scorpion, coach of the Leaf Agents, and today for the quarterfinals we are taking on Chris, aka Pokemaster88, coach of the California Trailblazers. I'll show you guys a quick overview of my team, why I chose these Pokemon, and the Wi-Fi battle will follow. But first, if you're excited for the BHDL playoffs, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already, as I'm on my way to 100 subscribers and I can only get there with your lovely support. With that being said, let's jump right into it. Now, as I'm sure you all remember, this is a rematch from the regular season, as me and Chris already threw hands in week 3. Here's a quick recap of what the matchup looks like. Last time, he brought the Ditto, Gliscor, Terra Captain Toxicroak, Noivern, Metagross, and Terra Captain Blastoise to the match, and the match itself resulted in a 5 0 victory in our favor. But let's see how we adapted this time to ensure our opponent does not get their desired revenge. Because we got let off the hook against Entry Hazards a bit easy last time, I wanted to bring Cyclozard this time around to spin things away like Stealth Rock and Spikes from Gliscor and Sticky Web from Vigavolt. We're running an Assault Vest to take hits better from said Vigavolt, Houndoom and a Choice Lock Noi for not clicking Draco Meteor, with enough speed to speed creep Frostlass. Double Edge is a solid neutral move to click against almost his entire team, while Knock Off dents the normal resists in Metagross and Frostlass. I rounded off the set with Quick Attack to have some extra priority against things like Shell Smash Blastoise, Unburdened Sceptile, but most notably Noivern, as that Pokemon is a huge problem th to my team thanks to its awesome speed tier. Next up, to take advantage of the lower speed tiers on my opponent's team and be a solid wall breaker for the mid game, we are bringing Thunderous Therion. We have a Magnet set this week with Rain Dance to hit 100% accurate Thunders that absolutely devastate my opponent's defensive core, most notably to a KOing even a defensive Sylveon with max HP. It also very notably gives us a super effective rain boosted weather ball with to one hit KO even a defensive glide score, a mon we really struggle to touch otherwise. Volt Switch rounds off the set to have an accurate move to click that is still boosted by Magnet while grabbing further momentum. And to accompany Thunderous in its breaking power, we are bringing back Life Orb Iron Valiant, with most of the same set as last time, except with close combat over Spirit Break to hit Metagross harder on Switch In and have a very strong neutral hit on Blastoise. Poison Jab does a massive chunk to Sylveon, which is one of the few Pokemon that can take a hit from Iron Valiant otherwise, while Ice Punch deals with all Gliscor variants. Shadow Sneak is a great last move to potentially pick off a weakened Noivern or Metagross, as we can hit the latter before its Bullet Punch can hit us. We still need a good switch in from Metagross however, as well as Toxicroak and a physical Shell Smash Blastoise, so we are bringing back physically defensive Terra Water Torterra. This time, however, rather than being a passive rocks machine, we are going on the offense with a Swords Dance set to catch potential switch-ins off guard. Earthquake and Terra Blast Water gives us near perfect coverage against the whole team, while Synthesis and the Leftovers keeps us healthy. With max HP and 140 defense EVs, combined with an impish nature, we are never too killed by a Life Orb Toxicroak's close combat and can heal off the damage. The 36 speed EVs speed groups a defensive Sylveon, while the rest was put into attack for damage output. I never quite noticed my opponent also doesn't take strong dark type attacks very well at all, so we are bringing Black Glasses Hisuian Samurott to add some hazard support for our breakers with Ceaseless Edge or knockoff potential items. With max attack and an adamant nature, the boost from Black Glasses makes it very uncomfortable for even resists like Toxicroak and Sylveon to take these hits, and Sucker Punch also gives us a strong priority to once, helped, once again help out versus Noivern and a boost to Blastoise. The speed EVs allow us to outspeed Adamant Metagross, while the 108 HP EVs ensure we can at least take one super effective hammer arm from it. And lastly, to check my opponent's hard hitting special attackers like Sylveon, Noivern, Sceptile and Frostlass, we are bringing specially defensive Bronzong. Through the many switches it forces, Bronzong can get up Stealth Rock very easily to support my team while staying healthy with leftovers. By going max bulk, we can always avoid a 2 kill from even a choice spec Noivern Flamethrower and put it in priority range of many of our other Pokemon with Ice Spinner, which also serves the purpose of doing a hefty chunk to Gliscor. Heavy Slam lets us 1-hit KO Sylveon and Frostas, who may try to hit us hard with Shadow Ball, and then rounded off the step with Reflect to be able to punish physical attackers pivoting into us and making it easier for one of my own Pokemon to switch into them. So that's my team for the quarterfinals in the BHDL Pokemon Draft League. Because this is the playoffs, this could easily be our last battle, and if we lose, our run ends here. So if you guys are excited for this intense battle, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already, as it not only helps my channel grow, but the Pokemon Draft League scene as a whole. For now, I want to thank you all for watching this little section, and I've held you up long enough, so let's get right into the battle. Alright y'all, here we are with our playoffs battle. For the quarterfinals, we're going up against Pokemaster 88. 
Not gonna lie, I'm starting to feel the nerves. It's been a little while since I've been in the playoffs. Obviously, last time was season one, so it's been a little while since I've subjected myself to one of this. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a difficult one for sure. Uh, I'm sure. Chris is waiting for us. He's obviously been wanting this rematch for a while now, given the fact that I'm now 3-0 up against him. But uh, see, so yeah, I'm sure he's cooked to try and get his revenge on me. But obviously, I also try my best to kind of adapt that way. So. Uh, yeah, there's not much uh, else we can do. Let's uh, head straight into the battle and uh, hope we do well. Good luck and have fun to Chris. Let's do this one. Best of luck and have fun. Got my little notebook here. Gonna write down to see what he brought to battle. And uh, let's see if it's any different from last time. Let's see. He brought the Blastoise. The Gliscor. The Sylveon, that didn't show last time, but I was expecting it this time. The Metagross. The Houndoom. And the Neufren. So the exact same team as last time, except instead of Ditto, he has the Houndoom. I'm very, very glad I kind of baited him into bringing the Houndoom with the Typhlosion last time, because I actually did not bring it, which is uh, pretty cool. Um... So yeah, this is uh, pretty much the team I was expecting. Sylveon, I was definitely expecting to show up in this rematch. And uh, wait, so who else is no? Wait, there's also no Toxic Rogue. Okay, so Blastoise is the only Terra Captain. Forgive me. Um, so yeah, very solid team. We definitely do still have our uh, work cut out for us. As far as I want to lead with, I do think that his best lead option to me is like a Gliscor or a Neuvern. So I'm going to lead off with my specially defensive Bronzong. And uh, see how we go from there. Because uh, I just feel like that's the most safe one. And uh, yeah, here we go, quarterfinals. Hopefully we do well. Again, not gonna lie, I'm really, really feeling these nerves, but you know what? This, uh, hopefully that will also help me play, uh, play better. Yeah, here we go. Let's see. He's gonna lead off with the Neuvern immediately, perfect. So, nice and shiny, as, uh, it's, uh, over, which it wasn't last time, gotta love it. Uh, he probably has Frisk, if I'm guessing. No, he's not, okay, so that means he's Infiltrator, good to know. Alright, so we are built specially defensive, we don't take much from this thing at all. Uh, even a Specs Flamethrower does not two kills unless he's modest, but we will obviously get to scout for damage. Um, as far as what I want to do, I could try to Ice Spinner straight away to try and get a big hit, on, hit off on him, but again, I'm not to a kill by anything. So I think I'd rather just get up my rocks, and worst case scenario, he just goes Blastoise to try and spin, uh, spin them away. Uh, which gives us a bit of momentum. So we're going to get rocks up here, turn one. And he does go for you to immediately, alright, so that could very well be choiced. But he does not risk anything straight away. And Neuven is going to go back to Chris. Perfect. So I, I assume Blastoise is going to come out here. Or maybe the uh, Houndoom. We'll see how he wants to play it. Uh, if we if the Houndoom comes out, we definitely have switch-ins. Uh, Blastoise, if it's defensive, is not that big of a deal. But if he wants to Shell Smash immediately, that could be more of a problem. Uh, however, I'd hope, uh, I don't think he'll get like the 6-0 on us uh, immediately. Sylveon comes out, in fact. That's a very, very interesting switch. Not what I was expecting. So we get rocks up here. Uh, we're not going to scout anything, an item or anything here. We won't see leftovers, even if they, even if he does have them. Uh, but we will obviously get a little bit of leftover recovery. So that assumes I'm going to, I'm going to assume that that means that that thing is specs. Because uh, otherwise, why the hell would this thing come in? Uh, so I'm going to see choice specs, max special attack, shadow ball. It's going to do a very hefty chunk to us, obviously. But it doesn't kill us, and Heavy Slam, even if he's max HP, does it one hell of a chunk. So, like, I could just go for Heavy Slam, or do you think he'll use this to pivot into something else? Either way, I think I'm okay. Uh, cause Shadow Ball, let's see, oh, that's, oh, that's, uh, with a speed boosting nature, let's see, Modest. Okay, so Modest will do a hefty chunk to us, but it's still, it does 51 to 60, but I think I'm willing to take that damage, I think. We'll go for Heavy Slam here. Let's see. He does Calm Mind Up. Okay, that's uh, an interesting one. So it's a setup variant. Are you going to have a Babiri Berry, perhaps? That's definitely an option. We'll go for Heavy Slam. He does not have a Babiri Berry. And he does, so we do get a big Heavy Slam off. However, that is uh, Fizz Death. And he's left over. Okay, cool. That is definitely, that is hella, hella defensive. Uh, yeah, that's, as a matter of fact, that's Fizz Death. Because otherwise, Heavy Slam does way more. Uh, so Shadow Ball is probably not going to hit us that hard. Uh, here, honestly. See, even a plus one. Yeah, obviously that's the same damage as Specs. Yeah, we should be fine. I don't think he was expecting me to have the Steel-type move on deck. Um, Sylveon is weakened now at this point, so I'm pretty comfortable just going for another Heavy Slam. 
and just trying to take him out, honestly. He does withdraw, as I kind of expected, but again, he is now weakened, so that's good. As Metagross comes out, that's fine. Very solid play from my opponent there. Does get the Metagross in, we get a little bit of chip off on it. This is obviously not going to do much at all, yep. But we will get a little bit more leftover recovery, let's see. We do not see a leftovers on him, so that's more than likely going to be Assault Vest. Uh, if I had to guess. We're probably going to see a knockoff here. Uh, I definitely don't want to stay in, because I can't really touch this thing, right? Uh, so I, could, I have two options, I could either go Hisui and Samar, or I could go into my uh, Torterra. I think I do like the Torterra play a little bit more, because um, I can afford to have my leftovers knocked off. And um, there's not really much he can do to me. Like, if he goes for a, even if he goes hard Ice Punch, we should be able to take it alright. So I'm going to make the Torterra play. And uh, we're going to scout for damage here, let's see. We're on 202 HP right now. Let's see what he wants to go for. So we're going to go into our mostly physically defensive Torterra, let's see. He goes for knockoff as expected. We see 202 to 150, that's a lot of damage. And we uh, he knocks off the leftovers. That's 52 points of HP. Let's see. And that is max attack. That is max attack adamant. But not necessarily, that's not banded or anything. So, we could expect one of two things to come out here. Either Neuvern or the um, Glyscore. I think either way, I don't want to play around with a... Um, I don't want to play around with a uh, with an Ice Punch, potentially. So I'm going to make the... I'm going to Terrastalite right here, because I do feel more comfortable in this game being a Water-type. And I'm actually going to hit Swords Dance, just to kind of uh, make sure that we can um, hit the whole team. I'm, I'm thinking Gliscor will come out here more than likely, but anyway. So we're going to make that play. We're going to Terra Water and we're going to Swords Dance. He does withdraw. Hopefully he goes into that. If he goes Neuvern, though, we do get uh, Stealth Rock damage off on him, which is good. Neuvern does, in fact, come out. Okay, very good play from my opponent's part. Let's see if he's got Boots, or if he Specs again. He is not Boots. Alright, so that's more than likely going to be Specs. A very solid play from my opponent there, obviously. I kind of wish I uh, went for the Terra Blast Water now. But it's okay. We're going to Terra Slice Torterra into a Water type, and uh, we're not going to get left out recovery from this, unfortunately. However, he is now pretty much forced to... Um, to go for a move here, right? To hit us with. Uh, like, more than likely a stab move. Uh, because, obviously, he does not want us to uh, go for a really strong hit off on him. So, now we can afford to make the Bronze on play. Let's see, uh, Bronzong, just to kind of get the scout, that's just kind of scout the damage. Let's see, Neuvern. Alright, so Draco Meteor, should do 25 to 30. Flame Photo should do 20, oh, sorry, a Hurricane should do 21 to 25. So it should be all good to go here. And depending on what he locks himself into, we may be able to abuse this after. Like, for example, if he locks into Flame Photo, we can go Samurai. If he goes into, or if he goes for a... Um, uh, Draco, we can go into Valiant. So we're going to make the Bronze on play here immediately. So I don't mind... Because um, no, I don't want to get let Torterra get too weakened, obviously. So we're going to go back into a Bronze on here. And here, I might want to try and go for a Reflect. Let's see what he goes for. He goes for an Air Slice immediately. All right, so it's not even Hurricane. So that's good. Let's see. Uh, 174 to 156. That's 18 points of damage. Let's see. Uh, he's not Hurricane, obviously, he is uh, Air Slash. So it helps it out a little bit. Air Slash. That is not Specs, actually. That is not Specs, so he could, he might not be Choice Locked. That's interesting to note. So we're probably going to see a switch into either the Houndoom or maybe the Gliscor or maybe something else. I think either way, Metagross is probably his safest switch in. Uh, but I can't double, obviously, because he'll just go for a U-turn. So I think what I want to do here... Is I want to end up going for just a Reflect here. I think that's okay. Um, yeah, he might be Choice Scarfed, actually. That's definitely a possibility. Right, we'll go for Reflect here. Hopefully punish the Metagross from switching it, because that makes it one much easier for us to pivot into it. I see, let's go Metagross. Perfect. This is exactly why we have the uh, Reflect. All right, so we get Metagross in. We're going to get a Reflect up here. Make it much easier to switch in. He could go for Knockoff again here. He could also go for... Psychic Fangs? I think I actually want to play around the Psychic Fangs. If I lose my Black Glasses at this point, it's not a huge deal. And uh, we can take even Hammer Arm very, very easily from this thing. We know he's not Choice Banned. And Samurot. Let's see, Samurot. Even, yeah, we take absolutely nothing behind a Reflect. 
Let's see, even like a hammer arm. Even hammer arm does not do a KO us. And we, f we now do threaten this to a KO. Or the one at KO, sorry, with Ceaseless Edge, as long as he doesn't knock off our black glasses. So we're gonna make the Samurai play here. Uh, and this also plays around Psychic Fangs if he wants to try and break the screens. Which would be very helpful. So we're gonna make the Samurai play here, let's see what he goes for. He, does, he goes for rocks, alright, that's fine. We do have the Cyclozar on deck, luckily, and he does not have the Frost so no Ghost have to block it. Unless the, um, the, the Blastoise is randomly Terra Ghost. So I've got two options here, I can either go for a Ceaseless Edge, or I can go for a knockoff, or I can even go for a Flip Turn, there's no water immunities. Um, I think I could go, I think knockoff is the play here. Because it just does the most damage into anything, and it doesn't risk missing. I don't think I care too much for the spike at the moment, because rocks alone are, are plentiful enough, right? Let's see, so we have Samurott in here, uh, against Blastoise, if he's defensive, it's gonna do a good chunk. Gonna do a very, sort of very good chunk. As a matter of fact, it has uh, a small chance to a kill even, even if he's like max fizz death. I'm gonna make the knockoff player. I feel like it's safe. He does actually stay in, so we get a knockoff off, and he actually dies. Wow, okay. So he was very, very slow. The actually lists just go down. So he may have been predicting like a flip turn, expecting us to open it. He was weakness policy, oh my. So he was actually in a weakness policy since so it wasn't even AV. But Samurai gets the first kill of the match. On Metagross. Alright, huge. Definitely, the black glasses definitely helped us out there, because without the black glasses, he would not have been in KO range. He might even suspect we're Choice Bandit now because of that. That's great. That's a huge threat out of the way for Iron Valiant too. Neuvern does come back out, but we know you're not Specs. So he probably goes for a Defog here, if anything. Uh, Neuvern, again, I know you're not Specs, and without Specs, let's say you're Scarf, you cannot knock me out. I could go for the Bronzong switch here, because he might, um, but I, he might also Defog. I don't think that Neuvern gets anything to one-shot me, right? The fact that he's not switching to Blastoise in makes me think that's Shell Smash, so we gotta be careful of that. Does Sucker Punch kill from here, actually? Sucker Punch does KO, actually. Yeah, Sucker Punch does KO here. But he might go for a Defog. Um, I think I'll make the Ceaseless Edge play, because I can afford missing here, I think. Like, it's not a, that's not a huge deal. Yeah, we'll go for the Ceaseless Edge. Go for it. He does U turn immediately. He does out U, U turn out immediately. All right, that's fine. So he's just trying to play a bit of uh, momentum uh, gaining here. Obviously expecting the bronze one to come in, but no, we're gonna get a strong ceaseless edge off on something here, which is gonna be very, very helpful. Maybe Sylveon wants to come out. That's probably the one I'm expecting to come out. Yep, Sylveon comes out because the thing is fizz death again. I'm really, I'm really thinking that Ablazos will be uh, shell smash. Let's see. We go for ceaseless edge. We do land. Nice, and we get uh, a good amount of chip damage off on Sylveon. Spikes go up. And obviously he's gonna get a little bit of leftover recovery. We know you're not Scarf, so we know we guaranteed outspeed this thing. Uh, I don't think I care too much for the second attack, and obviously I don't want to miss. Uh, question is, do I maybe want to go for a flip turn to be in with something else, is the question. Or, or am I okay with Samurai being in? I think I'd rather want- I think I actually want a flip turn. I think I actually want a flip turn into my uh, Iron Valley here, because that's going to make it very difficult for her, like, Blastoise to set up. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to flip turn here. We know you're not Scarf, we know we killed this thing. Nice. The Samurai gets the second KO here. And KOs... Uh, Sylveon. So we're doing alright at the moment, but as long as that Blastoise is alive, which is more than likely Shell Smash, we are not out of the woods yet. Uh, now we're gonna go into Iron Valley, because I feel like it has a very strong matchup into anything that could potentially come out. We have Hazards up, Neuvern is not gonna appreciate his life or Shadow Sneak. And, um, yeah, we can do a lot of damage to things here. Reflect does wear off, but that's okay. And uh, yeah, not a whole lot wants to come in here, honestly. If it's if Houndom comes out, I'm gonna have to assume that that thing is Scarf, unfortunately, because otherwise there's no way you bring it in on an Iron Valiant. And um, yeah, I'm expecting if Blastoise has a Terra type that's good against Iron Valiant, it'll probably come out here in Terra. Luckily, we do still have all forms of priority in the back. So with those hazards, I think we should be okay even against that. But uh, obviously, the Terra type is gonna matter a lot here. I'm not going to pronounce that name, but let's see who comes out. That is the Blastoise. All right. What Terra type are you, my friend? What is your Terra type? You're not Boots. You could very well be Terra Ghost. As a matter of fact, that's what he was last time. But I'm not sure if it'll be the same thing this time. Because that did not work out for him. Um, I think either way, my best play is to just close combat. 
right? Let's see, Blastoise. Because I want to just deny this thing from, sending, from getting up a Shell Smash. That is pretty much all I want to do. If you're Choice Scarfed... He actually can't knock me out even if he's Choice Scarfed from full. Uh, and if he's Terra, if he's Terra Ghost, then... Um, the Suyin Samurai should have a good time revenge killing it with... Um, with what's it called? With Sucker Punch. I think we always close combat here. We always close combat. We do see the Terra immediately. What is it going to be? I'm expecting either Steel, Poison, Ghost, or maybe Fighting. A lot of predictions, but let's see if I'm right. It's Terra Fairy! Ooh, okay. But we still are going to do a hefty, hefty chunk of damage here. And if he does get greedy with the Shell Smash, I'm pretty sure Life or Close Combat into Shadow Sneak will KO. Let's see, we go for a Close Combat. Does do really good damage. Let's see if he goes for the Terra Blast straight away. Let's see. It obviously will lose some HP from the Life Orb. He does Shell Smash. Alright, that's not too big of a deal. That's not too big of a deal. We got this. We have priority. We're okay. Very scary situation, but I think we're okay. So I think... So obviously he's going to be able to uh, get all of the boosts here. Uh, it is going to be up to us. Let's see. Obviously we need to see if he's got a Y Herb. More than likely it will be. Yep, alright. So he is now plus two and he is Terra Fairy. Alright. Also a very, very solid one into me, obviously. He is now a plus two with everything. Uh, let's see. So... Obviously, 100%. So we're probably going to have to lose a Mon here, right? I don't think I want to lose Iron Valley just yet. Uh, so I could sack off my Thunderous, because it's not that useful in this game anymore. Um, I think I actually have to Shadow Sneak here, though. Because otherwise we may to lose too many ones. Because if we Shadow Sneak here, Iron Valley does go down. But, let's see. Yeah, I think we Shadow Sneak here. And then go Cyclozar and Quick Attack. That's our play. That's I think that's our play. I would love to keep Iron Valley around, but I'm afraid I'm going to lose too many months if I do. So we Shadow Sneak here. Maybe we get lucky and we get a crit. Let's see. Life Orb Shadow Sneak. Nearly takes about. Alright, that's at least in range of something. Maybe we get lucky with a miss or probably just go for Terra Blast, actually. Liquidation. Oh, it's physical. Alright. Alright, not too big of a deal. So Blastoise KOs Iron Valiant. Fortunately, that one didn't get any KOs, but you know what? It uh, made sure that this thing couldn't really do too much against us. See, Blastoise uh, takes down Valiant. But yeah, luckily, I'm very, very grateful of all that priority we have in the back now. So now, uh, we obviously always go Cyclos and we just quick attack. Because um, this thing should easily be in range, right? Just to make absolute sure, because we, we are also uh, max attack. Let's see, Cyclos are. Yeah, quick attack should definitely kill from here. So we go, we're going to go into a size off here. Can't go for a rapid spin, unfortunately. This is where the quick attack is really going to pay off. Yeah, that should easily be in range. Alright, make sure we don't misclick. Quick attack, yes. Let's go for it. We get it off. Nice, and Blastoise goes down to Cyclozar. Alright, that's a big threat averted. Another Mon gone. So Blastoise KOs or gets KO'd by Cyclozar. Neuvern could very well come out here. If it does, I'm, I'm probably just going to go back into my... Um, into my Neuvern, because I don't think he's in quick attack range just yet with that Moon. Alright, I think we're sitting in a pretty comfortable position, but... Because um, the Blastoise was easily the biggest threat, right? So he's got Neuvern left, he's got Gliscor left, and he's got Houndoom left. Unfortunately, I do not have Ice Spinner on my Cyclozar, as Gliscor does in fact come out. Hmm. Let me think. So... He does take rocks. We could try to go for a knockoff here. And knock off his Toxic Orb if he has it. Although he could also go for Protect. He obviously knows Ice Spinner is likely a thing, right? Um, I think it is worth going for it, though. This is where I really wish I had Ice Spinner, but I didn't think this Mon would ever come out against me. Let's see. So, so, so. Double Edge obviously doesn't do much at all. It does like 30% of his Fizz Death. Uh, but he also doesn't do m that much to us, luckily. Um... Yeah, Earthquake does like 50%. I'm gonna go for one knockoff here. I feel like it's worth it. Let's see. We do knock off his item perfect. It doesn't go for protect. It does actually do, do do pretty good damage. And he does have the Toxic Core perfect. So we deny that completely. He does go for Earthquake. Let's see. Let's see how much damage he does. That is hella offensive. That is very offensive Gly score. Alright, that's good to know. That's okay though. Uh, I definitely want to get my Regenerator. Uh, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to... Hmm. We could go, we could go Bronzong. Obviously we have the... Uh, uh, we have the, what's it called? Uh, levitate. 
We could go Thunderous as well, but obviously we have that off. We could also let Cyclozar go down and just go for Rapid Spin. That's also a possibility. And then what do we go after to Revenge Killer? Let's, let's have a think about that. Um, probably going to have to be Torterra, honestly. Because we can also get a Synthesis off on this thing. Uh, however, hmm. Yeah, I think that's worth it, actually. I think it's worth to get rid of the rocks. Um, yeah, we'll go. No, no, oh shit. Mis mis misclicked, misclicked. Why did I have to misclick in the quarterfinals? I'm so, so bad. Alright, just go for u -turn. That's okay, though. Why did I have to misclick in the quarterfinals? Oh god, I really hope that's not going to come back to bite me. It's okay, though. For some reason, my brain thought that I was on the quick attack option. I don't know. Ah, uh, why does that have to happen? Come on, focus. Uh, he's probably going to go into the Neuvern here, if I had to guess. Luckily, that thing is now in Sucker Punch range, right? Neuvern does come out. Does take more rocks. Uh, are you in Sucker Punch range now? Surely you are, right? Let's see. Um, we have Neuvern in here against my Hisui and Samurott. Let's see. Um <coughs> oh, wait, that's against myself. Whoops. Uh, Neuvern, there you are. Yeah, Sucker Punch definitely takes him out from here. I could also go Neuvern and just Ice Spinner, but I don't think... He could also just go Houndoom, obviously, which will get him momentum. Uh, so yeah, I think we go Samurai here. I do have to be a little bit mindful of to not lose the Houndoom in the end game, though. Because uh, that mono is obviously is very, very strong. Um, he doesn't really have a good switch into those, so we'll, we'll obviously go for Sucker Punch here. Try and take him out. Hopefully this isn't too obvious. I go for Sucker Punch. Oh, he reads a good play from my opponent there. Does he have Roost? p Alright, that's okay. Now let's get rid of all the hazards. That's a very good play from my opponent there. I guess I made the Sucker Punch a little bit too obvious. But it does also get rid of rocks on our side, so that's not that big of a deal. I could Sucker again. Um... But at the same time, like, there's not really a whole lot that switches into us at this point, right? Like, what if the... If the Gliscor goes, it comes in... Hmm... What is... What item is this thing, though? That's what I want to know. We're not in Air Slash range. Hmm... This is a tough call. It's a really tough call. I think he wants to keep the Neuven around. But is clicking sucker is not clicking sucker too risky here? I don't want to keep Samurai healthy. I think not clicking it is too risky here. I need to go for it again. Alright, damn it. Oh unfortunately I'm a coward. I'm a coward. Dang it. He does go Gliscor, that's oh, okay. Okay, so we need to be a little bit more mindful how we play this. So he doesn't know that we have Ice Spinner on the on the thing yet, right? He probably does have knockoff. Um, I could also flip turn on his, on his U-turn, potentially. He's offensive, right? Which would be max speed. If he's max out speed, he does outspeed us. Uh, let's see, how much does U-turn do to me? U-turn... Does not make me, take me out from here. So I could actually go for a Ceaseless Edge. Because Ceaseless Edge should take him out as well. Because he has no bulk, right? More than likely. Or very little. Yeah, Ceaseless Edge does take him up from here. Um. Alright. Houndoom is very frail. We'll, we'll go for Ceaseless Edge. We go for Ceaseless Edge. It was U-turn. Perfect. We should live that. Yep. Alright. Let's see who comes out here. Probably the Houndoom if I had to guess. Maybe the Noivern expecting a water move. Right, oh, Neuver does come up. Let's pl please, please, please hit this season. This is probably the most important season set of the season. Come on, Samurott. Yes! Oh, we get it off. Okay, so nice. There's a third KO for Samurott there. Very, very valuable. And Neuvern goes down. Alright. And we get a spike up too. Samurott's going insane this game. What the hell? Ooh, this is an intense one, boys. This is a very intense one. Houndoom does come out now. Nice and shiny. And it is boots. Okay, so you're not scarfed. How much do I do with um, Thunderous? Houndoom, let's see. Against my Thunderous Therian. Thunder nearly takes him out. Volt Switch does not. 
Yeah, Thunder nearly takes him out. Um, I think... Because we get outsped by both Mons now, right? He could also go for Trailblaze, unfortunately. Ooh, Trailblaze could be very, Trailblaze could be very scary. Uh, but I think we can definitely live at least one hit with Torterra, surely. Um, I think I actually don't want him to like maybe set up a substitute or something. So is, is the play maybe to flip turn? I think it should be right. Yeah, we set up. A, we go for flip turn just in case he goes for substitute. All right, Dark Pulse is fine. Maybe we lift this even. No, we don't. Okay. So Houndoom KO Samara. Let's see. Houndoom. All right, so uh, let's see. Dark Pulse, Torterra, Terra Water. Dark Pulse does not to a kill me. We are at 150 HP. Yeah, only a very very small chance to a kill me through leftover. So that's actually so Torterra can actually live uh, a hit, which is good. I think I want to go Thunderous here always. I think I go Thunderous and actually Rain Dance always. Yeah. We go Thunders and we Rain Dance, because it also covers the switch into Glyscore. And after that we get Guaranteed Thunders. Because Magna Thunder... Let's see, Thunder Asterion... Yeah, he actually can't knock us out with like Fire Blast, because obviously we also weaken Fire Blast that way. And Thunder has a really good chance to want to kill him from full if he's no bulk. So we go for Rain Dance here, always. Alright, perfect. We get the Rain up. That's going to weaken any fire moves he wants to go for. Let's go for Fire Blast and he misses. Ooh, unfortunate. And now the last two remaining ones are weak to Weather. So I don't even I don't even need to go for Thunder. I can just go for Weather Ball, right? Because Weather Ball in the rain is going to hella destroy this thing. So yeah, we always go for Weather Ball here. Sorry about that mess, but I don't think it matters too much. Alright, he's going to withdraw the, the Hound Doom now. But yeah, we have Weather Ball, so we easily knock out Gliscor. So I'm pretty sure Thunderous actually finishes off the game there, which is really cool, which is really awesome. Um, because, like, Thunderous has been so, like underperforming compared to with Season 2. That I'm actually so glad about this. Uh, so happy about this. Alright, so Thunderous KOs Gliscor. And then the last mod remaining is Houndoom, which cannot take a Weather Ball. We are faster, guaranteed as well, because we are fully speed invested. We go for a Weather Ball here. I'm very, very glad this tech paid off. We know he's not Focus Ash because he does not take Spike damage. So we go for a Weather Ball. We're going to take out this Houndoom with the Rain Ball, or when the Rain Dance tech. Can't even speak. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Your boy, the Leaf Agents, are in the semi-finals. Let's go! Ooh, I'm so happy about that. Very, very good battle, though. Very, very intense all the way around. GG's, Chris. I respect the hell out of you as an opponent. You came swinging in this rematch, and uh, I really, really enjoyed it. So... If your mission was to get a good battle on display, you absolutely performed. Thank you guys for watching this one. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys back in the semi-finals coming next week. Can't give you a preview of our opponent though. Uh, but it is actually going to be either our two-time champion or Emerald Miner, which locked us or knocked us out in Season 1. So yeah, going to be an absolute champion battle that is. Again, thanks for watching. Have a good one everyone and peace out.